Swiss Rolly type thing. That's the end. Ooh. End on. Mazen Terreri. A cool lad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sandwich kick. Whoa. Is good. I, I don't know what they're going to be like. Princes. Good old princes. Good old staple. Mine gums. Nice. It's like the only non salty sweets they had. <laughs> we got all this food, all of this gear. But no boat. No boat. How long have we been waiting in this town? Uh. Six days, I think. <laughs> Six days. Six long days. That's what... Where are you, cosmic dancer? <laughs> So Jacob, what's going on? So the Cosmic Dancer uh, couldn't come pick us up in Elysia because there was too much ice. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I quote um, the guy from, from the petrol station for the boat <laughs> in Elysia who says, there's hardly any ice. What kind of pussies are they? <laughs> so now we've managed to hitch a lift with some seal fishermen in this tiny boat. And the crunching you can hear is icebergs going underneath the boat. And there's some fucking massive icebergs going past outside. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic fucking dancing, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be in the list, yeah. There's a bit of ice. How do you guys dealt with it? Didn't seem to stop these guys. <laughs> Feels a bit eerie, doesn't it, Tom? Yep. It'll be fine. It will be fine. We're going climbing, like. Yeah, it's like it's, it's a big crack. Kind of like standards, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, like several standages. Just a few standages on top like, of each other. How like how high is standage at the highest point? Like 15? 15 meters. 15 yeah. meters. So this is about getting on for 80 standages. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <Never else>. <laughs> like. <laughs>
looks like the traverse, it looks pretty featured, the traverse. From it. You see, when you come, once you come around the corner, you've got those blocks going across. Oh, there's a, there's a like, weird break. Yeah. All right. So I, I figured, like, worst case, you could follow there. All right. Down. You, could, you could come into their route mm. above the cruxy bit and just follow that to the, to the legend. What time is it right now, Tom? It's, uh, it's 20 past three in the morning. <laughs> and what are we doing? Uh, we're about to start a gigantic cluster faff to get all our gear to the base of Tha, which is the point we are burning. <laughs> you have some time! <laughs> Bye! See you in a few days! <laughs> and chuck okay. that rope in. Am I chucking the red rope in? Okay, we've now got 10 minutes to work out. We have oh, a crucial thing. Uh, Sorry? Yes. We now have 10 minutes to work out. What, before they sail off? Find the rack bag. Find the rope bags. Find the tent. Yeah, okay, and then we'll be fine. Like, this is our last sight of the Cosmic Dancer for four days. Feels quite lonely here. It's very, very quiet. Apart from when the occasional iceberg collapses and makes quite a loud crashing noise. This is fresh water for base camp, fresh out of the sea. I'm just going to put it in this pan here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, so it's good timing. There was, there was one bit where I started suspecting the flake that I'd placed this nut behind. <laughs> All the other flakes were shit. I'd placed a nut behind the one decent flake. And then I started like bridging away on it. And I thought, shit, <laughs> maybe that's not a good flake after all. If I fall onto that, it's coming on top of me. Um, yeah, but you made it. <laughs> I made it, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we made it. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're, <laughs> we're, we're up now. We, we uh, have a bit more sort of slabs and things, ideally. I'm not quite sure what happened. Yeah, looks, looks good now. Looks um, good. We're through the we're through the roofs, which was the main kind of problem of the lower face. Yeah. So this is good news. This is further than I expected to get. Yeah, same. <laughs> Not quite sure which bit of the Horn of the Perlwick it is, but we're on some sort of summit, so this will do for us. <laughs> so, Jacob. Yeah. What's happening? Well, Tom and Peter set off 
about 36 hours ago. They managed to find us an easier route over there and scramble up to the top. We're really worried about them because they've been now on, on the go for 36 hours. We were just down there on that ledge and a load of rocks started winging down past us at like 100 miles an hour. It felt like being shot at. It was quite scary. It was fucking terrifying. <laughs> And it was sustained. They were there for like 30 <laughs> there's seconds. There's nothing we could do except for just sit tight, like this, head in hands, as the rocks rained down either side of us. And now we've run up, scampered up here and built a somewhat sketchy belay underneath this overlap, which hopefully is going to protect us from any more rocks that Tom and Peter might throw down. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to sit tight here for two hours until the next radio contact. And then we'll tell them to stop chucking rocks down. Tell them to stop chucking rocks at us and then maybe we can carry on. <laughs> or maybe we can just go down. <laughs> I don't feel like yeah. going on at the moment. I feel like going down. I'm just going to sit here and eat trail mix. I've got... We've got enough to keep you going. About a kilo, probably. So it should last me for an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> It's just started to rain, which really, really sucks. How many warm clothes and bivvy bags and things did we bring on our fast and light attempt? We've got not very many warm clothes and no bivvy bags. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. All right. <laughs> right. How's it going? Oh, it's, it's pretty good actually. We've got like this uh, great bivvy spot. <laughs> A bit broken. <laughs> Those ones are perfect. You monster. What have you got there, Ian? I've got some family guff. <laughs> family guff. <girl. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Mm. It's crush o'clock. Crush o'clock.
Ah. Welcome back. How's the route? What's that? Oh. How's the route? Excellent. <laughs> awesome. Like, absolutely incredible. Basically, choss for 20 pitches, and then two pitches of the most beautiful dihedral you've ever seen. <laughs>